Now we want to find the limit of this rational function x minus 2 divided by x minus 1 to the second power times x minus 3. If I basically plug in x equals to 1 here, you have 1 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 1 to the second power and 1 minus 3. You basically have a negative number here. You have another negative number down here that makes it positive. So you have a numerical value, a positive number divided by zero. A positive number divided by zero gives you positive infinity. We can look at the graph of the function as well. The graph of the function behaves like this. One piece of the graph and note that you have one and three as vertical asymptote. So here you have your x equals to one as your first vertical asymptote the second piece of the graph and then another vertical asymptote which is x equals to three which is going to be down here and the rest of the graph which behaves like this so x as x goes to one from left or from right as you can see the graph of the function grows to positive infinity.